So, you like Pokemon cards. Who doesn't? I sure know I do. I think it's safe to say that creating one's very own Pokemon-inspired card game has been something that many of us have only dreamed about. Of course, some of us have messed around with creating a custom trading card game, and as you know, I certainly love creating DIY cards. But for the most part, a full-on TCG, let alone one that's able to match or even surpass the quality of Pokemon, is nothing but a far-off fantasy. That is, until now. What's up guys, Beatgumon here, and welcome to the next episode where I present to you guys, Polywog Cards. That's right, what you guys just saw and what you're seeing now are some of the very first Polywog Cards ever created, and actually, a part of its very first test print run. But, if you guys thought these were cool, I've also got 15 Valentine's Day Brawl Packs, and 15 St. Patrick's Day Brawl Packs, which we will of course go ahead and crack into, and hopefully, with some luck, in this video we'll pull some really cool ultra rare and full art cards. Now, just before we begin, I also want to quickly let you guys know that I am not sponsored or affiliated with Playwalk TCG in any way, so everything you see in this video is entirely my own opinion. The creator himself, Kevin Madden, was kind enough to send me these packs though, so that's why I have such exclusive and cool cards as these. But anyways, I'm super excited to open these, so without further ado, let's check out these cards. Alright, so we'll begin with the Valentine's Day set. In this set, there's only one artwork available, but it has four unique variations. There's a 1 of 6,000 variant, a 1 of 2,500 variant, a 1 of 1,000 variant, and an ultra rare 1 of 500 variant. So hopefully, we can pull all of them, but no matter what, we'll definitely be seeing the artwork. But anyways, without any more further ado, let's get into these packs. Each pack contains one card, so to save some time on opening, I'm first going to go ahead and cut the tops off of all 15 of these. And now, we're ready to be in the opening. So, starting with our first pack, we're going to pull the card backwards here so as to keep the art a surprise. And as you can see, this is what the back of a Poliwag card looks like. So, pretty cool. Love that water effect. But, here we go. And in our first pack, it looks like we have a 1 of 2500 variant. So, it's fully shaded, with a black outline. Right off the bat, if you've ever held a Pokemon card before, these feel pretty similar in both size and thickness. But wow, doesn't this card look amazing? Pokemon really should take some notes. I just love the design of this creature, Vergara. It's so cute, isn't it? The entire card here is art as well, and it just feels so seamless. This rainbow holographic effect as well looks really nice. You can almost see every single color in the rainbow here. Pink, blue, green, red, orange, I mean there's something for everyone here. Very cool, but I don't want to bore you guys too much as I kind of nerd out here, so let's put this thing in the back and let's get into the next pack. Hopefully, we can pull one of the other variants. So let's get right into it here, and pulling the card out, and flipping it over. Okay, that's a 1 of 6,000 variant, the fully shaded and complete card. There's no black outline on this one, like there was on the previous, and I mean, wow, this card still looks amazing. I can't decide which one I like better though. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. The 1 of 2500 outline version, or this one right here. But man, that rainbow holographic effect, that will never get old. I feel like I could stare at this for hours and hours and hours and never see the exact same color combination twice. It's that beautiful and just shifts in every single direction. Alright, so let's put this one in the back as well. And now that we've got two of the four, let's see if we can pull any others. And here, flipping this one over, we've got another 1 of 2500 variant. That is the one with the outlines. Again, a very nice card, but we've seen it before, so let's go ahead and put this one to the side. And on to the next one. Grabbing this pack, flipping it over, and here, another 1 of 2500. So would you look at that? Now, if I grab this one, we got two extra ones. Quite a beautiful sight to behold, isn't it? I think I'll just start speedrunning these here now, so hopefully we can pull a new variant soon. And also, something that some of you may have picked up on by now is that so far, based on all the cards we've seen, so the test prints, these Valentine's Day cards, and soon the St. Patrick's Day cards, all of these have been based on amphibians. Now, according to legend, the story goes that a meteor possessing a strange and powerful radiation crashed into a small pond on Earth and caused mutations within its fragile ecosystem. The radiation has become known as polyrads, and as it begins changing these small and frail amphibians into strange and powerful beings, with time, rumor has it that it will also spread to other types of animals, and make the world of polywogs far more diverse, encompassing not only amphibians, but also fish, insects, birds, and even mammals. These creatures, as they become mutated by the polyrad, will become known as polywogs. I've got some never seen before concept art of the first non-amphibian polywogs, which happen to be aquatic, so I'll pop up some images here on the screen while we continue to open these packs. Now, while all of these look really, really cool, 
my personal favorite has got to be this armored koi fish here. I think it just looks so cool, but honestly, this lamprey is definitely a close second. But anyways, that's enough of that. Let's get back into the real cards here. I just thought that little bit of lore was really quite fascinating, and I love the emphasis the Polywog game has on nature, which you guys will see a lot more of in the St. Patrick's Day set, and in the way the game actually plays. Actually, this aspect really reminds me of what Pokemon used to be when it was first created. As many of you probably don't know, but Pokemon was originally based on the creator's love of insect collecting, and Pokemon themselves are really just little creatures that you can catch and collect. But now, we're here already, I know, last pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic. I know it's a tall order, but I'm really hoping for that 1 of 500 signed variant. And here we go. Nope, unfortunately it's a 1 of 6,000, but honestly, is that even something to be mad over? This is still a gorgeous card, and I knew that 1 in 500 was gonna be a tough one to get anyways, so... You can't really complain with this beautiful card we have right here. And taking a look at both of them, they're really, really nice. Again, I can't tell you which one I like more. The one with the full shading or the one with the black outline. They both look really, really cool and they're both really nice in their own right. I like how they did this sort of alternate artwork thing. Rather than having different, like, specific polywood cards, it's the same exact card just with varying artworks. It's really not something you see very often and it made for a fun experience, but of course, having completely different cards is definitely something nice as well, so I'm glad we're gonna have that in the St. Patrick's Day set, which we'll get into right now. Alright, so here it is, the St. Patrick's Day promo packs. Just like the Valentine's Day set, we do have 15 of these, and they do contain one card each. However, the main difference here is that there are multiple different types of cards that you can pull. Taking a look here at the back, you can see it actually lists each and every one of these cards. It even provides the percentage at which they can be pulled. So we have a shot at the Shamrock Frogo, Lucky Pad, Rainbow Light, Poly Shoe, Pot of Gold, and even an ultra rare full art card. So hopefully we can pull each and every one of these. And without further ado on this end, let's go ahead and cut the tops of these so we can finally check out these different artworks. And now that that's done, you guys know the drill. Let's pull our first card out and flipping it over, our very first St. Patrick's card will be a Lucky Pad. Wow, this card is quite different from the Valentine's Day ones, but it looks really nice. It might be a little hard for you guys to see, but it almost seems like these lily pads on the card are kind of raised above that dark water, which gives it a bit of a 3D effect. Actually, you can definitely feel that too when you run your finger over it. Overall though, this was a great first hit. I love it. That lily pad in the middle is shaped like a four-leaf clover, and of course, that gorgeous rainbow hollow that we saw in the Valentine's Day cards is present here as well, though only on the lily pads, so that actually looks really nice. Alright, amazing start. That lucky pad was the second most common, at a 22.5% chance, so we'll go ahead and put that in the back and move on to the next one. We won't waste any time here, and let's see. We got a rainbow light! Wow, this card is a 20% chance, just after that lucky pad, so this one as well, really nice. I'm absolutely loving this St. Patrick's Day set, I do have to say. Again, here we have the art printed on another layer, above the actual card, so that rainbow and... I'm guessing these are dice, but they really pop. That hollow, yet again, it's impossible for it to not look great, and I think it really complements the rainbow. So we'll put this one in the back along with our lucky pad, and let's get right into the next pack. Let's see if we can pull yet another unique artwork. So let's get right into this one, and as you guys can see here, there are still four cards left for us to pull, and well, this won't be one of them. That's fine though, still a nice card, but let's put this one in the back. And flipping this one over. Oh, nice! That's definitely not something we've seen before. So this is a poly shoe at a 12.5% chance. So getting rarer. This isn't the easiest one to pull, definitely. And as much as I'd love to go on and on about this rainbow hollow effect, I think you guys have heard enough about that by now. But of course, I still love that here. When I first saw the images of these cards online, actually, I was immediately blown away by that rainbow effect. And that's why I was so excited to open these because it looks so good, but I'm glad it looks as good as it did in pictures, in person. We'll put this one in the back though, and our little St. Patrick's Day collection is really starting to look nice, isn't it? So we'll see if we can pull some more unique variants to add to our collection, and flipping this one over, there we go! Another unique variant! Wow, our luck wasn't the greatest with the Valentine's Day set, so I guess it was all saved for these. I'm not complaining though, I'm glad that we got to see so many unique artworks, and this card, I have to say, I think it might be my favorite so far. This one actually has the least hollow out of all the other cards we've seen, but it works really well. I love how his little eyes glow in the same light as the coins. It looks really nice. Not too overwhelming at all either. They did a really good job with this one. We'll put this one in the back as well. It was actually the second rarest at only a 10% chance, so pretty awesome that we managed to pull it. So let's get right into our next one. And here, 
We got a Shamrock Frago. What is that luck? Only one duplicate so far is actually insane. Beautiful card as always. We got a little frog here dressed up as a leprechaun sitting on a four-leaf clover. I really don't know if it gets any more St. Patrick's Day theme than that, does it? But I really like this card as well. There's definitely been some that I like more than others, but honestly, I haven't seen a single Poliwog card that I wouldn't stare at for hours and hours and hours if given the chance. Also, I don't know if it's just this angle, but this guy seems a little more blue than the others, which, I mean, hey, it looks cool. So I'll put this one in the back as well. That is, if it wants to go to the back. All right, I'll go ahead and cut really quick, save you guys the agony of seeing me stand a flat piece of cardboard that simply refuses to cooperate, so I'll be right back when I get this guy standing. All right, there we go, we're back. To you guys, it was a matter of seconds. To me, it was an eternity, but no matter, he's standing now, so let's get into our next pack. And flipping this one over, we got another lucky pad. Actually, we're missing only one card now, which is the full art lucky pad, so hopefully this was an omen of things to come. And here we go. Another lucky pad. It's got to be an omen now. Surely the full art card is next, right? Come on, lucky pad gods. Give us that full art. And not a lucky pad. That's fine, though. I will take a poly shoe any day of the week. If you guys have been liking these cards, by the way, as I sure am, the game was actually fun to 500% on Kickstarter in October, and it's slated for a full release in June of this year, so that's pretty exciting. That's only one month away. I believe the Kickstarter raised close to $200,000, so it's awesome to see so many people interested in pretty pieces of cardboard like I am. Anyways, a delay is possible, but if you want to stay up to date, you can check out polywog.com for more information. I'll leave a link to that in the description, as well as to the Kickstarter, if you are interested. I will definitely be following it, because while these promo packs are nice, I'm curious to see what could come with a full release. And perhaps packs filled with not one, but multiple cards, because if they're anything like these, they'll definitely be awesome. But here we go, next pack, and oh, that's it! That's the last card we needed! At a 7.5% chance, that's, that's the Lucky Pad Full Art! Wow, I can't believe we actually did it, honestly. I didn't think we could, but with that, we just pulled every single card available in the set. And this card definitely lives up to the hype. It's so nice. I gotta say, I'm really happy about this. I don't know if you guys were able to see this right away, but if you look closely at the bottom of the card, there's this little cute creature lurking in the water, holding that lily pad up. You can just see his little eyes and mouth if you look closely, so that's a really nice touch to the card, isn't it? That full art as well, really nice and really well done. Just like the previous Valentine's Day cards, it's it's honestly knocked out of the park. I'm excited to see what other full arts we might get in the future, but man, I'm just glad we were actually able to do it. If I'm being honest, I really didn't have much hope, but I guess luck was on our side, finally, and we pleased the lucky pad gods enough. But anyways, let's put this guy in the back. We've still got three packs left, though at this point we've already pulled everything we need. I mean, maybe we can double up on full art lucky pads, I sure wouldn't complain about that. And let's see. What? <laughs> Another lucky pad. It's not a full art, but that's definitely a lucky pad. What are you telling me, oh mighty lucky pad gods? Will you give us another full art in the pack right here? And no, it's a Shamrock Frago though. I'm kind of glad because I don't know what I would have done if that was another lucky pad. But anyways, here we are, the final pack of the day. The final Poliwag card It's going to be a Shamrock Frago. Nice, beautiful card here. Let's put this guy to the side though and take a look at our haul. We managed to pull one of every single card available on the set. And wow. They're just gorgeous all together like this, aren't they? So that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video where we took a look at some of the first Polywog cards ever printed and also opened some really nice Valentine's and St. Patrick's Day promo packs. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this even half as much as I did and if you'd like to get some Polywog cards for yourself, I'll go ahead and leave a link to that in the description below. The Hoppy Easter set is actually supposed to be ready very soon after a few delays and it looks like a really cool one. There are a lot more cards available in this one as well, so of course, there's a full art chase card that I would love to pull. If you guys like this video, maybe I'll see if I can get my hands on some of these. Again, I'm not sponsored, but I genuinely enjoyed this, and as a Pokemon fan, I can say these cards are really nice. This is also the first time I'm collecting anything other than Pokemon, so I guess that says something as well, right? I've never been into Yu-Gi-Oh! and whatever else there was, I've always just gravitated to Pokemon, but anyways, that's enough talk. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and without further ado, Stay tuned for the next episode.